Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. We will solve one uh, f further example of Lagrange interpolating, uh, interpolating polynomial uh, and this time we will solve one of degree 2. So the problem is that find out the second degree interpolating polynomial Lagrange interpolating polynomial that passes through the nodes x0 is equal to 1.5 x1 is equal to 1.75 x2 is equal to 2 for the function f of x is equal to 1 over x square and also find f of 1.25 f of 1.65 and 1.85 so the first thing is we have x0 x1 and x2 but we don't have f of x1 f of x2 and f of f of x0 x1 and 2 so we have to find those out so f of x not would be 1 over 1 1.5 x square when we have x0 is equal to 1.5 f of x1 would be 1 over 1.75 square when we have x1 is equal to 1.75 and f of x2 would be 1 over 4 2 square is 4 when we have x2 is equal to 2 so now we have to find out or write down the interpolating polynomial formula P2 of x is L, L0 of x f of x0 1 of x f of x0 it is always good to write down the formula first so that you do not miss out anything from the formula now in this one again you can write down the values of the Lagrange function, this one, this one, and this one. So, I'll note of x is again. You, if you don't remember, the first thing is x naught. So, in the denominator, there shouldn't be x naught, and in the denominator, you have to subtract all these other ones from the the one which is here. So, x minus x one, x minus x2 and x0 minus x1 and x0 minus x2 now you can put the values x minus x1 is 1.75 x minus x2 is 2 x0 is 1.5 minus x1 is 1.75 1.5 minus 2 you can further simplify that or you can leave it like that this one would be x1 x minus x0 x minus x2 and you subtract from x1 x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 substitute the values x minus x0 is 1.5 x minus 2 now x1 is 1.75 minus 1.5 1.75 minus 2 similarly l2 of x would be x minus x0 x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 Substitute the values x minus x0 is 1.5, x minus 1.75, x2 is 1 is 2 minus x0 is 1.5, and x2 is 2 minus 1.75. You have to further simplify that because we need to find out the polynomial. Now we have to put that 
those values and this polynomial. So So once we calculate this one and multiply it to the function, so we get x into x squared minus 3.75x plus 3.15 into the function that we had f of x is 1 over x squared. So f of x naught, we had 1 over 1.5 whole square. This is giving us 0 0.4444. 4, 4. So we can go to four points. Plus, then the next one, this one when we simplify, gives us minus 16 into x squared minus 3.5x plus 3 and the function at f of x1 which was 1 over 1.75 whole square this gives us 0 0.3265 and then plus when you simplify this one this gives us plus 8x squared minus 3.25x plus 2.625 and the last function gives us the value 1 over the 1 over 4 which is 25 you can just write down 0 0.25 and when you further simplify this, then what we get is P2 of x as a simplified form is 0 0.3312 x squared minus 1.548 x plus 2.0212. So this is the quadratic polynomial that we when simplify all these calculations, this is what we get. Now, the second part was to find out the f of one to five. So we know that p two of x is f of one to five if we replace x by 1 to 5. It's the approximation. So P2 of X, P2 of 1 to 5 is equals to F of 1 to 5. So we just replace X by 1 to 5 in this polynomial 0 0.3312 1.25 square minus 1.548 1.25 plus 2.0 one two and when we calculate this this gives us 1.65 so f of 1.25 is 1.65 similarly we can find out f of 1.65 as p2 of 1.65, 0 0.3312 of 1.65 square minus 1.548, 1.65 plus 2.0212. And when you simplify, this one gives us 3687. Similarly, f of 1.85 when you calculate this one this gives us 0 0.2909 09. 
And now when you find out the error or the difference between the function f of x, which was the exact function this one, and the approximation that we get from the polynomial. So for the first one, f of x at f of 1.25 is giving us So this is giving us 0.64 f of, from the function f of 65 is giving us 0.3673 and 1.85 is giving us 0.2922. So these are the, the exact values from the function and the values from the polynomials are this, this, and this. So f of x, so we can say that 1 over x squared minus p2 of x divided by 1 over x squared times 100 would give us the percentage error. So you can calculate them is 0 0.64, 64 minus 0 0.6037 divided by 0 0.64 into 100, and that gives us 5.5. and gives us 5.67%. Similarly, you can find out by subtracting this one from this one and dividing by the same number multiplied by 100 and that would give you 0.38. So the percentage for this one is 5.67%. For this one, we get 0.38%, and for this one, 0.44%. So I hope that if you are asked to find out a polynomial of second degree or third degree, you would be able to find it. Thank you very much.